and we're going to go right into it because it's the number one question this week. Will Dak Prescott play? Well, what we know is this. If Dak Prescott, if they had a game last week, Dak Prescott would not have played. That calf injury was probably that bad. He probably would not have played if they had a game last Sunday. So the fact that they didn't have a game and now there's a good chance he could play this week, they won the bye. So the Cowboys go on the road to play the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday night in Minneapolis, Sunday night football in NBC. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys are two and a half point favorites against the three and three Vikings. We had there on a second ago, should Dak Prescott play? The NFC East is so bad. The Cowboys are already up by three games on the rest of the division because the Eagles, the Washington team football, and the New York Giants all stink. I am almost of a mind to think you could sit Dak Prescott and just eat the loss. Um, they won't, obviously, but Clarence, should they? No. I mean, this is you're a baseball guy, right? You can't assume a double play. You can't assume momentum. You're feeling good. You got this thing going. You know, obviously, if he's injured, you don't play him. If he can't play, you don't play him. If there's a chance you could injure it worse, a chance that it affects your ability to, to move and, and, and run the offense, you don't play him. But if he's healthy enough to play, you play him because it's not just about the NFC East anymore. We're, we're thinking bigger. Look at your look at your uh, your name. You know, whatever you what do you call that? Your attachment there. Mac yeah. Super Bowl Ingle. It's not Done. just about the NFC East anymore. It's about playoff positioning. It's about home field advantage. It's about all this stuff. You got bigger fishes to fry here. The only 16 games, if Dak can play, you play him. Well, I would think under any other circumstance, I would agree with you. But in this one, in this one, I think they would be at least within their right mind to have the conversation not to. Arizona's undefeated. You're thinking about the bye week. Only one team gets a bye anymore. So the Cowboys are in there thinking, well, maybe we should kick. No way. You're not even in October. You're not even in November yet. We're at the end of October. We're not in November yet. You still have two more months of the regular season left. The regular season goes one week into January because it's 17 weeks. We all knew something like this was bound to happen, I think. When Dak Prescott came back from that ankle injury, I said it. Other people said it, too. This is the kind of risk that you run. You roll your eyes at me all you want. This is oh, the kind you of want to come back with that, that, yeah, that, right. that, that, that just stuff in the summer. You and, you and Adam Schefter. But the bottom line is this. They're in a really good position to do whatever they want. And if they wanted to sit him down, they could do it. They won't. But if they wanted to, they could. I, I, mean, I think they could sit him down and even beat Minnesota because I don't think Minnesota's any good. Despite no, Minnesota's going to be a tough out on the road. It's going to be a tough out on the road. They got a pretty good defense. They, they got a running game. They got a receiver core. It's a tough out on the road. But the bottom line is this. I mean, I, I hear you. If he's hurt and, and there are re legitimate concerns about his health, then, yes, you err on the side of caution. But just based on everything we're seeing, you know, he's wearing cowboy boots at a concert in Grand right. Prairie on Saturday night. He's at the Stars game last week. You know, he, you know, I got a picture of him on social media getting pizza delivered. I mean, uh, barbecue delivered to his house, you know, uh, different thing. I, mean, I saw him yesterday, had a conversation with him yesterday uh, on Monday uh, at the team headquarters. He walking, heckling, uh, you know, uh, a team nutritionist. There's no boot, you know, and, and talking to Zach Mark, he said that, you know, based on, you know, Jerry Jones on the radio on Tuesday morning said that based on how he looked at practice. So he went through the walkthrough with the team on Monday, that they're positive. They feel good about him. I think that if 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 there were issues, major issues, and Jerry also said that, you know, he's he was more concerned about the shoulder and camp than he's about this cat. So if there were major issues, Britt Brown, the uh, the trainers, they wouldn't have him out there. They they'd be doing different things. And certainly he spent uh most of the Bible 24-7 doing everything he could to rehab um uh, that calf, you know, in addition to going to Stars game, in addition yeah. to Halloween to parties, concert, in yeah. addition to something this morning, he posed with pictures with his girlfriend for Halloween. Right. His Halloween costume was much better than yours, much, much, much better than yours. You haven't even seen my yet. That's just a prop. Don't <laughs> okay, even I'm just to saying, Halloween I'm just going to give it to that. So okay. the, the, there are positive signs to say he's good to go. He's going to try to play. And, you know, I, I think that it's the right decision if he's not injured. 